Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and again I'm playing with Dina's new release in the large craft journal. Um, some really exciting things in this latest release in October. Um, so I've just cut down a couple of pages, just cut a couple of inches off either um, off one of the sides and I'm just going in on the first page with some clear gesso um, just to help the page accept the media that I'm going to put on there. Um, my clear gesso is is from Liquitex and it is quite a grainy one but um, I don't mind it I quite like it so you'll have noticed there was some writing underneath that I was I started writing a, a quote of I am enough but I couldn't fit the word enough in properly so I got fed up decided I would change it completely so I'm going in with a really chunky Posca pen to map out where my letters are going to be because I'm going to cut these letters out of this page um, and this is a great way to do it so there we go now I'm starting to do my cutting I've got the little craft mat underneath and then my scalpel type of craft knife um, which is from model craft and I get it off Amazon so um, a bit fiddly but just the way to do it is just take your time um, don't rush and another tip I would say is to turn your book as you are cutting um, so that you're not getting into awkward positions with the knife and of course watch your fingers <laughs> yeah so spent a little bit of time cutting out these letters and um, then the magic of editing look at that if only it was that quick and easy that would be fab so now i'm using one of dina's new brushes i'm using the size um 24 brush and um, it's got lovely soft bristles um, is great for painting over things like this because it will just nicely kind of get into all the little nooks and crannies um, and using some Dina's black gesso I'm just painting over these cut out letters in black uh, the reason I'm doing that is because behind I'm going to be adding some nice bright rainbow colours and it works as a really great contrast uh, with those so again I'm going in with some clear gesso because on this page I'm going to add some scribble sticks um, and I want to water activate them so the clear gesso means that the page will uh, work much better with that so I'm starting off with um, magenta at the top and then ruby Pressing on quite hard, adding quite a lot of pigment down. Um, the scribble sticks are great to use, but you do need to add a lot of pigment for them to blend nicely. Um, that was tangerine, this is lemon. Lime. <clears throat> and then shock horror, this is ocean. Normally I use turquoise, don't I? But no, 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 this is ocean. Again, that's magenta. And then a blackberry. I love the blackberry one, it's so pigmented. Look how beautiful that purple is. And then I am going to use the same brush that I used before. just with some water on it so just to water activate these um, scribble stick colours to help blend them into each other so once I've done one colour I'm just washing my brush off in between just so that I'm not dragging too much of each colour down the page I don't want to create mud um, and just giving that brush a little bit of a wash and getting rid of some of the excess water because these brushes do hold a lot of water they've got quite big heads on them so um, making sure the brush is clean means that I'm then not dragging the colour down the page and making that awful muddy mess.
So once that was dry, I then started to think about how I could use the transparency on this page. And there's some in this set, this is the um, frames and figures set one. Um, so there's some really cool uh, um, figures on there that I decided I would use. And I wanted to have them kind of overlapping the edge of my page, like a bit of a tab, really. Uh, so I'm going to put two figures together to make them a little bit more robust. So just lining them up with each other and then cutting them out, stapling them together. And then I'm using the floor pattern stencil with some sterling paint just to add a little bit of um, pattern onto the front of my page that I'm creating. Um, this is one of the metallic paints from Dina and it's really pretty. Especially through this stencil which is amazing. I love how close the little pattern is on it. Okay so the figure's going to go at the bottom down there like that. <coughs> Very sorry about the coughing. And then I was thinking I was going to use these little um, frames as a tab as well. So while I was just pondering what I was going to do with those, I was just out. I outlined my letters using the Signo Uniball in white. Um, I seem to have found this set of Signo Uniballs that I've bought recently. Um, the ink doesn't seem to flow quite as well as some of the ones I've had in the past. Sometimes that's the case, and I think I just have to try not to get too hung up about it. It really doesn't matter now that much, but it can be a little bit frustrating. So I've outlined all the letters, then I'm just cutting out these little frames. I'm going to stick those at the edge of the page like this as a tab above the figure. OK, so then I'm going in with my double sided tape gun and just adding some tape onto various parts of the uh, page where I'm going to stick them together. So a little tip about this is that I would, um, when you stick the pages together, lift them up so that they are um, vertical because the pages need to be able to turn over freely. And if you stick it, stick it together when they're laying flat like this, when you try and then turn the page, it'll buckle a little bit. So, um, yeah, don't do what I did here because I had to end up unsticking it, lifting it up and then sticking it back together again. Um, so I started off with three tabs and then decided I didn't like the fact that his little head was overlapping that bottom one. So I popped that one out, use that for something else. I'm going to staple it in place like this. <clears throat> And then I thought I would write onto the transparency and it did work, but I didn't like it. So <laughs> once I'd done it, I did just wipe it away with a baby wipe. So then I just wrote the quote onto a little piece of card and then cut it up and stapled that in place instead. Um, and that worked perfectly fine. It would also work just to stick a bit of paint on the um, transparency and then you could write on top of it that way. That would also work fine. So a little bit of a mantra here for anybody that needs it. In case no one told you today, you are doing great. Sometimes we all need to hear that, don't we? So lots and lots of fun creating this page using Dina's new transparencies and um, the stencil and the scribble sticks and the new brushes. It's very exciting, guys. Um, so, yeah, lots of fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, 
of course, a bit of a rainbow vibe going off too. <laughs> um, keep watching my channel because there'll be more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.